Chris Naracco, and welcome back to Skaters in Cars, Looking at Spots. In this week's episode, we're going to drive around Brea, California with 2016 Real Street Champ, Chris Joska. What's up, How are you, Chris? How are you? Chilling? Enjoying the dogs barking? You want to take a ride, look at those spots in Brea? Let's do it. You want to drive? I don't have my wallet on me right now. All right, I'll drive. All right, cool. Buckle up. Yeah, buckle up. You wound up winning Real Street last year. How'd you get involved and what was that like for you to win? Shoot, if I'm being honest, if I'm remembering correctly, last year when we started working on this, we like kind of blew it off for a little while because I don't know, we didn't really have uh, with that much time in the beginning with all the contests, you know, like Street League and all that. It just became like six months out of the year was gone and then I was like, whoa okay, we gotta start working on this. But then it took me another couple months to really be like, okay, we gotta start working on this. So once again, la that real street part, I think was filming like a few months, like three, four months. Damn, really? Like, we didn't even utilize the whole year, to be honest. So you filmed a bunch of tricks for your part in Brea. What's the first spot we're going to? We're going to the Brea 12 stair. You spent a lot of time at this spot? Well, shoot, actually, yeah, this is the third trick I filmed on it, so. The last one was fakey big flip for V True. And then the one before that was switch frontside flip for ground control when I was like 14, 15 that video came out. I did the switch frontside flip when I was like 13 or something, though, 12 yeah. maybe. See how you have to like come in, backside, and then like right here I'd like hug the grass and like try to make it feel like I had a frontside carve, you know? It was crazy. Did you eat it on the grass at all? I did get stuck once. Yeah? Yeah, it's hard though too, cause then like when I was cutting that, trying to make it frontside, I was like kind of missing the bondo right here sometimes and then the nose gets stuck in there. That's no bueno. No, no. Got a little crack as soon as you land. That jam you up at all? Yeah, because like you land a little bit before that, but then you slide on your back. And if you catch that like on your like your back, upper butt bone right there, ooh, you're ripping some skin for sure. You're known to be jumping off big stuff these days. How do you look at this thing? Kind of small for you, right? Compared to others, yeah. It's not too big, yeah. Especially when you're like looking at the very end of the stairs from the very tip top and you look down and you're just like, to me, that's not far away, you know what I mean? And that rail used to be a go when the kink was cut off, but then they put the kink back on, knobbed it, put freaking dirt right there so you can't even do lip slide or nose blunt tricks. You have to stay to this side. I think the only trick that got done once that happened was Nigel's nollie heel nose slide. Yeah, he kept it such mellow. A, yeah, right. <laughs> I was just gonna say it's such a gnarly trick, like, Jesus. Well, damn, you want to go check out that high school runner? Yeah, let's do it. How's it different filming for something like Real Street that you've only got like a short amount of time versus Plan B True where you're filming for quite a while? Uh, well, Plan B True was being filmed for quite a while, but I had only gotten on like a year and a half before the video. Yeah, it was kind of the same scenario, almost like a year and a half to just go out and stock, so. It's kind of like my program, honestly. The Eddie's video we filmed in like a month. The Shanghai video is like two week long. And it's just kind of like been my thing, I guess, to be pretty productive with clips. You know, they're not always the best clips, but we'll get them done, you know? So is there any pressure on you to repeat again this year? No, no pressure, but it would definitely be sick, you know, get that two-peat. And then next year for you to joke around and be like, oh, get that two-peat. But uh, nah, man, if I lose, then congratulations to whoever won, you know what I mean? It's not like I'm gonna be bummed or anything. Were there any tricks in this year's part that were just really a pain in the to film? The 16 that we're going to, it was so weird, dude. The first two tries of the nollie flip, I was so over it. I was like, I don't think this is gonna happen. Board was not flipping right. It was so far away from me when I would pop, and I was like, okay, I think I'm done, and I was just giving it one more try, and then ended up happening. What was this session like? The first two tries weren't going nothing like good at all, dude. And then the third one just went well, just happened. Third try? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Must be nice. Yeah, I don't know how it happened. So how long were you here for, 10 minutes? Uh, maybe 30. I warmed up a little bit and 
Yeah, we were skating. I was skating it for like 30 minutes, and then we were just the rest of the time was just downtime. Prior to this video in Be True, I did back 360 on this, and then that was a little bit more of a battle for some reason. Why is that? Do you think? I don't know. It shouldn't have been because back three stays with your feet the whole time, and nollie flip it flips and stuff, so you got to catch it and do all that. But I think back three, just the rotation and the impact wasn't really too easy, you know. So there's one more spot on this campus though that you hit, right? Yeah, there's a 13 stair inside, but I don't think we should go check that right now. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Yeah, How'd especially the way we look right now. I, I feel young. We look young. No, I know, but the cameras. Oh right, the cameras. They don't blend in. But uh, yeah, there's the 13 in there that I think you frontside flipped. So. How was that for you? Um, that one was a little bit of a battle from what I remember. The Capital 15, you know what I mean? Once I get there, I'm just like, ah, it's, it's debatable. But once I get to that, I don't even really remember how many tries either. So it could have been anywhere from like 12 to 20 or something, yeah. you know? Like I'm never really too specific on those. Just know it's like it's considered a battle once it gets there. Yeah. If it ain't easy, then it's a battle. All right, damn, I think we got everything we need. Let's take oh, your yeah. ass home. Now let's do it. All right. You filmed your entire plan B true part with basically no knee, right? Kinda, that was kind of an odd situation really, like, I don't know, it was like, I had a knee brace to help me out a lot, so like, that thing pretty much was like my leg at the time. Cause like, also I was doing physical therapy to build up the strength, but you know, in that back of your head, you're just like, you're scared, you know, you don't want anything further to happen to it, you know, so thank God for that knee brace, dude, that thing saved my life. A knee brace like that gives you stability, but it's gotta be super uncomfortable and awkward to skate with. Oh yeah, dude, it was super uncomfortable. 